Hi, this is Ritesh. In today's session, I would be covering fan callouts and server-side scripts. In Oracle 10G, every time a node instance or a service goes down or up, that event can be trapped and used to make user-defined callouts. So every time a state change occurs, a state change could be a database going down or up, listener going down or up, or an ASM instance going down or up. So whenever such events happen, a fan event is posted to the ONS immediately. When a node receives an event through ONS, it will asynchronously execute all the executables in the server side script callout directory. Well, I just said the server-side callout directory, uh, which actually correlates to the Oracle, uh, the CRS home slash RAGG slash USRCO. So any script that you actually place over here is automatically being going to be executed by the ONS when, whenever there's an event that happens. You know, I'm particularly very excited about this feature. I can place all my required scripts here for environments which still rely on shell scripts to notify about database going down etc rather than grid control. This is particularly useful. In fact, I believe grid control also uses these trap events. So let's uh, you know practically demonstrate this. I'm going to go to the I'm going to the uh, CRS home. Then you have the rack G. You have this directory called this is the user callouts directory. Now I can actually place any kind of shell script or Perl script over here and give it execute permissions and uh, whenever there's a state change that happens these shell scripts are automatically called by the ONS. You actually have a lot of ready-made scripts available on the OTN so for now let's just pick up one such ready-made script. So as you can see here uh, I'm in the OTN website and there are several such scripts available the server uh, callout script so I just do the most uh, simple one that's a simple callout script this is the description this is a simple callout script which can be used as a fan server callout to simply print the fan events with the timestamp to a file So this is the um, the shell script. We copy that and I place it in the in this directory. I name this call out dot sh and simply paste the contents now just uh, let's have a look at uh, what this actually what the script is actually doing we are creating a uh, log file called fan log and there in the temp directory I'm having the um, I'm creating a file with the host name underscore fan dot log so every event that's echo dollar star I'm trapping every event and appending the report date so uh, reported equal to date so what it is doing is it's just simply appending the event name followed by the uh, date and it's redirecting to the fan log file that's all it is doing So I save it. I give it.
with permissions. So over here, I go to the slash tmp directory. Okay, now let's just uh, this file will not exist at the moment because there's no state change that has happened, like a database going down or things like that. We are going to simulate that. So, fam .log. There's no such fi file or directory, and now what I would do is is log in as the Oracle user, and I shut down the one of the data instances, and you would immediately see, or we can even start it up. I mean, any state change, whether it's down or up, that that would be captured over here okay small correction here the uh, we need to give it 777 permission because this is actually executed yeah, we need to give it 777 permission okay let's uh, now now that we have the 777 permission Let's let's now bring up the instance and let's see a file created. Now, now you can see over here that the database uh, the instance prod one the status is up its corresponding services I had created an ex um, service called example that also came up so this is a pretty useful uh, you know uh, thing to know over here now this was a very simple example over here now we could have uh, over here if we look at the script we could have easily modified uh, instead of re simply redirecting to a file we could have simply done a mail x and that would actually send out a notification to your mailbox in, in case the uh, service is up or down in case you want to trap only the services which are down and don't want to be notified when a services up you can trap specific events also uh, for more information you can always look at this website over here well that concludes the session over here thanks